Okay, whatever. It's a weird Deku tree. But we don't care about that. We want to keep moving on. And it goes all interdimensional. Weird upside down vortex in the know. And it looks like we're in a factory. Um, okay. Skip. So, Deku's, as you see, they cannot. They drown in water because they can't swim. So, they must skip on it. For, and they have like I think five turns. If if that five turns runs up and you're still in the water, you will drown. And I think you lose like half a heart or something like that. So, but you guys should all know how to play this game because a lot of people have played it. You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? There's the weird, creepy, happy mask guy. And uh, there's something actually cool in here. I don't know if we can see it right now, but I'll point it out. Yeah, he's the happy mask salesman. I think, I don't know. There's actually Mario. If you look right there, when that there's Mario cat. So he has a Mario mask, but we do not get it, sadly. You'll see it in the end of the game, right before the credits roll. You'll see it because I think it shows the back of him. So. Now he starts freaking out because the mask that the Skull Kid was wearing, Majora's mask, was taken, and we don't have it. And he says we have three days to do it before he leaves town, and. And, um, yeah, so we have three days to get that mask, but luckily, we, there's a song, we get, when we get our ocarina back, there's a song we learn, which can turn back time every time we need to, so, and let's go. Dawn of the first day, 72 hours remain. South Clock Town. And we're gonna explore Clock Town, cause we cannot do anything until the last day. But we can actually do something, but... I want to just show around the town real quick. He gives me the creeps that mask salesman was. Okay, whatever. But three days, even if we never slept. Okay, shut up, shut up, shut up. <clears throat> so we're go we can actually get a mask, the great fairy mask, right now. And whatever, shut up. Okay, leave me alone, please and thank you. Um, yeah, the dog will attack you, but you won't lose any hearts. So. Hey, give me that mask, kid. And we'll begin it later, so. <clears throat> um, I gotta find the right way. Is this the laundry? Nope. There's a bank. West Clock Town. Don't wanna be here. South Clock Town. Um. No, leave me alone. Wait. Um, I gotta remember. There's a like a uh, laundry mat place, laundry mat place. Oh, it's up these steps. What am I doing? And there's a great fairy. Well, there, it's a fairy that we have to rescue because you'll see what happens. Just uh, hold on. Right there's a fairy. Please hear my plea. The mask skull kid has broken me apart and scattered my pieces. So we have to go return this fairy. Yep, there we go. We have to go return the fairy to. To, um, crap, what's his face? Um, the Great Fairy, and I think it's West Clock Town. I don't know. I know right where it is, though. Don't talk to me. I want to spin. Stop it. That dog always annoys me. He only attacks you when you have the Deku mask on. When you get other masks, sometimes he's scared of it, and other times he's friendly. Nope, oh, wrong way. No, oh, wait, no. Yeah, I think it's wrong way. But I can actually do something right now really quick, so. And, um... Every time you get rupees, every time you set the day back, the days, uh, you will lose those rupees, but there's a bank that you can store them in. So, um, wait. Yeah, I can't jump yet, whatever. Uh, so, every time you, before, every time you set back time, because you, like I said, you can set back time, but before you do that, <clears throat> Make sure you store your rupees in the uh, bank so you can keep them all. And right now I'm gonna go get a hundred rupees. Shut up! I don't talk. Or no, darn it! It's somewhere else we can't get to yet. Unless maybe we can jump over there, but I doubt. No, I don't think so. And why is that guy holding his butt? I don't know. And we're getting off subject here. Let's just go back. Where 
is the stupid exit. Oh, there it is. Ah, uh, okay. Yay. Uh, oh, there's a heart container up there. It's probably the easiest one in the game, but we'll be getting that later. Oh, wow, it's up here, okay. And, um, yay. We're in... What part of Clock Town is this in? North Clock Town. I don't know. Um, did I just see who I think I saw? You know, wait, hold on. Because I think we can get a mask right now. It's really useful, actually. Hold on. Okay, well, right now I'm going to wait until 12.30. Because at 12.30 a.m., we can get a mask. Wait, let me just make sure. That's Tingle. Yeah, he's like 23 or something. Or 32, one of them. And he just sold you maps around like the whole place, but Tingle Tingle Kalu Limpa Yeah whatever, yeah, okay. Um Get some rupees. And now let's uh just see if I can get this stupid mask. Is there the guy back here? No, wow, I can't. Okay, well, I guess I have to wait till I'm human link to do anything. Because it's 12.30, wait. Um, it'd be 12.30 right around now. And, um, uh, no, can't get the mask yet, whatever. But there's a bunch of masks we can get in the town, which I will be doing, actually. I think that's the Great Fairy place, right? Let's see. I don't know, Fairy Town. It's a Great Fairy place. Um, so yeah, there's, before we start our adventure, after we get this mask off, I'll be getting some mask that we can get, after we get the ocarina back. There's some masks in town that we can get, so I'm gonna get that. Yeah, whatever, I'm gonna pay attention. Four. Yay, give me magic. I'm not paying attention, I'm just... Okay, yeah, we got magic powers. Use B to use the bubble blast. Sounds like a little baby move, I know. Oh, whatever. Um, and now we actually have to wait until the third day so we can do anything, but luckily we can skip time before, or yeah, we can skip time, which makes this, so, which brings us the last day. So, pop that Majora's Mask bubble with your bubble blast, and, this kid's like, oh, what, wait, what? So, I'll talk to him, are you the one who just popped that bubble up there? Not bad for a Deku scrub. We bombers have a hideout, at least, observatory outside town. We need to get to that observatory. And what we need to do is we need to find all these little kids to get a code, which will let us into the observatory. And hold on. Okay, here we go. Now, first kid, he's over here. You just gotta walk into him or you could spin into him, doesn't matter. Um, crap, I feel like the other kids are. Okay, well there's a kid there, not that hidden. Aw, oh, man, sure. God, this is harder than I can remember a thing. Before, you just get it really fast. Yeah, get him. Yeah, only three left. Um... Now the next ones are scattered around Clock Town, not just up in the north, they're all down. Um, this is not a kid hiding, he's the one protecting the observatory um, entrance. We cannot go to it. And then there's a kid up here with the, holding a chicken, so he fly. Oh, I just killed the chicken, well not killed, but... Come here, kid. Kid. Sometimes they'll run down steps, but they won't go into the next area of Clock Town, and, um, yeah. Ah. I didn't know you can do that. There's only two left. I think there's actually another one here somewhere. Is there? Yep, there's one up there. 
No. Whatever, let's just fly up there. <clears throat> Shut up, Tattle. Don't need your assistance. Haha, he got cornered. Now, there's one left, and I forget where he is. That's great. Um, but we'll find him in the next part, so we're coming low on time. So, goodbye, everybody.